elapsed time, there's three different ways that you're going to see problems. They'll give you a start time, an end time, and then you need to find the elapsed time in the middle. Elapsed time just means how much time passed in between those times. Uh, another one they might give you is they'll give you the start time, they'll give you how much time you spent at something, maybe a basketball game, who knows, and then you need to find the end time. And then the last one, which is sometimes hard, I think it's really easy if you just remember what you need to do, is they give you the end time, they tell you it took you this much time, when did you start? So you're trying to figure out the start time. So when you're dealing with elapsed time, you always want to work with hours first, well for the most part anyway. So the first problem we had was it started at 2.30, which is what it looks like now, and then it ended at 4.30. So we're going to start by counting by hours until we get to 4.30. So that is one hour. Remember if it's in between two numbers, so it's in between the three and the four, it's always going to be the first number that it's between, or the smallest number. So it's 3.30 right now, one more hour, now it's 4.30. So, how many times did I go all the way around? I made this one kind of easy. Between 2.30 and 4.30, I went around two full times, which means my elapsed time was two hours. My second problem starts me out at 2.30, and it says my elapsed time was three hours, 10 minutes, and I need to find the end time. So if I'm trying to find how long it took me, I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna go clockwise. So I'm gonna count by hours again, and then I'm going to count by my minutes. And usually when I do minutes, I'm going to count by fives, and I'll show you what I mean. So three hours, I'm going to, wherever I start from, that's going to be my hour spot. So that's one hour. Remember, I need to go three. So that's two hours, and that's three hours. So right now, it's between the five and the six. So it's the five, because you always go with the smallest number. It's 5.30, but I need to do my minutes. And I'm going to count by fives, because it's just easier to count that way. So I need to go ten minutes. So five, ten. So it's 5.40. My last problem asked me what was my starting time. It gives me my end time. So 6.40 and it started 3 hours 20 minutes ago. So I need to find the start time. Start time, you're always going counterclockwise. You're trying to find out when it started. So you're going backwards in time. So 3 hours 20 minutes. Remember, I'm going to always start with my hours. So that is 1 hour. One complete turn is an hour. It's two hours. I need to do one more to get my three hours. There's three. And I need to go back 20 minutes. So I'm going to count by fives again because it's just easier to do that. Five, 10, 15, 20. So my end time, or my start time actually, was 3.20. It took three hours and 20 minutes and it ended at 6.40. So my answer is 3.20. So when you're dealing with elapsed time, try to figure out if you need to go clockwise or counterclockwise, and then count by hours, and then count by minutes, usually by fives, unless it tells you something otherwise. If you remember those rules, this is really easy.